Stay back. This here's a private affair. Please help me out of here. Oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again.
I'm sorry, boy. Looks like you're just learning how to hunt with those kills. Get moving. Ah, can't be bothered. If that's what you want. Will you wait a second? I, I, I changed my mind. Hold it there. Hey, wait up there. Eat lead. Take more than that, boy. understand this at all. Hey, over here! What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. Well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I have spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But... Tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Well, 
Good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. There we go. Okay, there.
Okay. Easy now. Hey, you're okay. You're okay now. Yep. There, boy. Ah! Help! Please! Uh, anyone! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Easy now. Stay here, boy. Wait. Okay, easy now. Yeah, let's try that again now. Hey. <sighs> okay. Now. Easy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
Whoa now. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Easy. Come, boy. All right, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, boy. Good 
good-looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. If you ain't got papers, I can't give you much. I've been burned before. I saw a man get killed in that saloon the other night, over a nickel. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Daddy was a blacksmith, right here in this shop. That's how I got learning it. Always good to have one of those. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. I got one of them myself. Always good to have one of those. and goes a long way. Looks nice. That's a good looking horse now. Okay there, boy. Okay, boy.
Okay there. Yep. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. Here we go. What? No speeches, please. I'm back home now. Oh, oh everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. Down, you fool. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadly Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> If I join you fine folk, I still want a life's great pleasure sitting by the fire with friends. No matter what else happens, nothing. Fight beats sitting by the fire. You can have the hounds of hell after you and all the angels of vengeance alongside them, but a warm fire and you feel all is okay. Them that discovered the stuff must have thought they was gods among monkeys. They discovered fire. In our time, <laughs> they've discovered a wire you can knock down to speak You know this one, don't you? Go join in. ...to a different town to escape them. <laughs> Indeed. And what is fear in the world? Oh, my love. <laughs> Go get yourself a drink. You deserve one. How many times have we heard this song? It's a good one. You know, when I was in the army, 
fellas would spend all night talking about what they were gonna do the second they left the army. Oh, all kinds of things like, oh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be a cook, or well, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find me a wife. <laughs> Hell, someone's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go and dance with the finest whore in San Francisco. <laughs> you know, some shit like that. You know how fellas is. Oh. I put my head upon her ass. Work well when I need to say. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle, diddle, diddle all day. And we diddle, diddle, did too. <laughs> Welcome back, Sean. I owe you one, Arthur Morgan. The drinks are on me. They always are when you ain't buying. Was it a long ride back with them? You have no idea. Dance with me. That's right. And, and if you can tell the difference... I didn't think we was gonna see you again. Ah, it'll take more than that to take down Sean McGuire. A hundred bounty hunters there were. Oh, is that right? That makes you a better man than me, Sean. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Look after your boy tonight. He's not my boy. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. Can't take her eyes off me, Doc Karen. Can she? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> and can you blame her? Dance with me, Arthur. Oh. <laughs> sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. <laughs> See, Arthur, it's okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Uh, what you think of me? <laughs> Sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. Feels like ages since we've done this. Things are on the up again, finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him. Mm -hmm. Thank 
you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Thank you again for the dance, Miss Gaskell. Anytime. You're better than I thought you'd be. Oh, try and take that as a compliment. <laughs> Your fellow countryman returns. Ah, apparently. Well, enjoy. We got him. <laughs> you did very well. All of you. And now we're stuck with him. <laughs> How you keeping, old man? Oh, uh, you know. Been better. We have had quite the ride, huh? Oh, yeah. Quite the ride. Arthur? They ain't strung us yet. <laughs> no. Maybe they never will. They won't. I'm gonna get us out of this one. <laughs> we have been stuck before. <laughs> you, do you remember that mine? <laughs> of course. That, oh, that nauseating Poppin' Jay in that frontier town. <laughs> towns and any other hells we've encountered. Black water! <laughs> Never is a place true named, huh? Huh? <laughs> I like blue water. Mm-hmm. Black water? You can keep that. <laughs> okay, Javier. Blue water. So what happened Fire to Trelawney? Disappeared, <laughs> as usual. Black water's for fools. All right, well, yeah. I should be getting on. It's just unnatural, all this land. 
Ain't natural at all. Should have known you'd be part of the dregs. <sighs> I ever tell you boys about the time I was lost in the Congo and became a, a living god for a few days? Seriously, it's a good one. And it's true, entirely true. Many, many years ago, I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. <laughs> uh, my lord, it was wild. The massive boys, uh, them Congo Indians, <laughs> average nine feet tall, some even bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they, they had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river white as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. Uh, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> when I said I'm not the marrying kind, they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle <laughs> gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. <sighs> His pet? <laughs> yep. Like a dog or a cat. You're his favorite. Favorite? People care about that? Sure. I mean, so, oh, so, some do. A few people. Who? I don't know. I don't know. Well, me. Or not me. Maybe me. Oh, ah, shit, I don't know. I mean, like, hey, hey, it's like, okay. I love liquor. I love liquor. But liquor don't love me. <laughs> I know what you mean. For you it has caused me to roam. I'm a rabble rouser and Dixie is my home. Jackie Diamonds, Jackie Diamonds, I know you of old. You robbed my poor pockets of silver and gold. Oh, whiskey, you villain, you've been my downfall. You've kicked me, you've cuffed me, and caused me to brawl. My foot's in a stirrup, my bridle's in my hand. I'm leaving sweet Molly, the fairest in the land. Her parents don't like me, they say I'm too poor. They say I'm unworthy to enter her door. They say I drink whiskey, my money's my own. And them that don't like me can leave me alone. I'll eat when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry And when I get thirsty, I'll lay down and cry 
It's beefsteak when I'm hungry and whiskey when I'm dry. Greenbacks when I'm hard up and hell when I die. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, I cry. If I don't get rye whiskey, I surely will die. Oh baby, oh baby, I've told you before. Do make me a pallet, I'll lie on the floor. I've rambled and trampled this wide world around. Raising hell with the gang, that's where I am bound. It's with these gunslingers, dear Molly, I'll roam. I'm a rabble rouser, and Dixie's my home. If the ocean were whiskey, and I were a duck, quack, quack. I'd dive to the bottom and get one, one sweet sup. sup. But the ocean ain't whiskey, and I ain't no duck. So I'll play Jack of Diamonds, and then we'll get drunk. Oh, baby, oh, baby, I've told you before. Do make me a pallet, I'll lie on the floor. <laughs> Hey. Hey. How are you holding up? Pretty good. Good for you. Yes, see you later. Ain't taking you long to settle back in. I am back. I am back. <laughs> you crazy Irish bastard. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Whatever you say, oh! Morgan. Love is the soul of a neat Irish man. Well, he he's back. As loud a mouth as ever. Ah, oh, you can talk. Well, I should get back to it. Yeah? Yeah, whatever. Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Junk. Yeah. I got no idea. Did you miss him? You know, I think I actually did. Ha <laughs> ha, me too. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Oh, ain't I good company? Good to see you smiling, Dutch. We finally have something to smile about. Let's enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. It's your sprig of shillelagh and shamrock so green.
You seem better. Yeah, almost feel normal again. You were never normal, Marston. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yep. Everything okay, Miss Grimshaw? Yes, finally about done cleaning up after that party. Sean does not do things by halves. All right, well, I should be getting on. We'll see you later. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Oh, Mr. Morgan. I've jotted down a few things that I think could be a nice addition around here. Sorry to hear that. Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. Okay there, boy. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. So the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Yeah, you all right there, boy? Over there, you see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Boy, where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. 
Just wanted to see what attracted him. Dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Alright. Lead the way. Crash! Ah! No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm going to take a look. gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left? Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. How you doing, boy? Okay. See anything? I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. That's my boy. <laughs> Look, more dead bison. It has to be that. Come on. Wait up. You okay, boy? Did you fools shoot those bison? Mm, calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you uh. killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. 
God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please, don't. I've heard enough. <gasps> Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, fella. Yep. Hey, hey!
Hey, boy. Easy, easy.
stay. Don't worry. It's okay. Nice and easy. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Good boy. Okay there, boy. <laughs>
Sorry, boy. Get him. Easy now. Stay here, boy. Hold here, boy. Welcome here, so move on. You get your ass out of here. What if I like it here, huh? You want to die, huh? Shut up! Get off him! Of... Okay. 
Okay. It's good. Good girl. Good girl. There, girl. Whoa. That's a good girl. boy. Easy, girl. 
Easy, girl. I'm nearly there. This horse's legs will crush soon if you don't lay off the treats. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. Sorry, but without the paper, I can't pay you full price. I'll miss that nag. Real good one. Easy, boy. <laughs> Okay, boy.
Settle down, boy. <laughs> Come on now, boy. Sean seem to enjoy the party then? This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Good, we really needed this. Just make sure it goes into the pot, not your Many pot. Thanks, Mr. Morgan. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business.
Good boy. Yeah. You chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Ah.
bad day for you, mister. Look, look, I got the money, but it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. Goddamn treasure hunt? You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Come on, this ain't... Right. You got the map. Do the decent thing. Aren't you gonna untie me? Well, this is real uncharacteristic. I promise. Yep. You'll find it there. Everything. I promise. That's it. Whoa, easy. Okay, fella. Hey, don't worry. Hey, stop! <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa, now. See? It's okay. Okay now. No, no, wait. Okay, girl. <sighs> okay. Now. This <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> nice and easy. <laughs> Can relax now, girl. <laughs> Whoa, girl, easy now. Thank you. 
Good girl. Shh, girl. Yep. Well, good girl. Oh, hey, friend. Wanna try me again? See if you do any better oh. this time? I'm feeling good today, Way. What do you say about up in the ante this time? Make it interesting. No thanks, I ain't feeling quite so good as that. Not your day, huh? That's okay. Some other time. Hasta la próxima, amigo. Good job.
I know you saved me. Arthur? Of course. I owe you. Right. You and Arthur. You good, Charles? Yeah. Already wishing we left Sean hanging from that tree. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Hello. Managing to keep everyone in line? I'm doing my best. Any troublemakers, you let me know. Okay. So, you had fun partying with Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. <laughs> I don't think she thought that when she sobered hey, up. All right, there, okay. Pearson. Well, let's talk more later. How you doing? Uh, so so. Yeah, I know about that. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Collected on that ranch hand. Slippery feller. Lucky I got him. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Good morning, Arthur. Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. You know, I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Well, I'm nobody's servant girl, Mr. Morgan.
Yeah. Morning. Come on, pal. Morning. Horse looks healthy. When are you gonna get your act together? I'm just minding my own business here. Exactly what I've been looking for. Hey there, mister. Well, hey there. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. now. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No, nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no. No, I have money, but, but I have this. It's good, it's good, it's valuable. It's, it's Warszawa, yes. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. 
What you got behind there? So, uh, przepraszam, nie, nie rozumiem. Move aside. Prosakom nie można ufać. Amerykańcom też. Better be something somewhere. What do we have here? Moja obrączka, nie! Just keep quiet. Don't even speak English. Longer I look, the madder I get. Yes, 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 yes. You must have come here with something. I need, I must eat, Prosho. Okay, that should about cover things. O zabrałeś już prymitywie, idź precz. Jestem zrujnowany. Zrujnowany. Come on now, boy. Yeah. Yeah. There, boy. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. Sadly. He's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Arthur. Hello, Mr. Strauss. Good to see you.
Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. Hello, Arthur. My arms is gonna fall off. Speak! Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horse shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Combs? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I'll, I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Hey, my boy. In front of you. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say, I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Doug said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it? Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How are you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. Damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well... When you was having a failure of reason, 
hiding behind your woman the way you were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. And now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them, you're out to survive like them, you live rough, you live hard, fighting the law, nature, you're out for yourself. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive, we're out to live, free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. You settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. Easy. just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said... Easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember... I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Oh, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay, get down. Cabin's in the cleaner down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellers armed, drunk, wary of strangers? Yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. 
No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first floor. Okay. Go to work. We're waiting. If the old man loses it, I won't get another chance in ages. I'll be stood guard duty. So <laughs> What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. You know what's really quiet? A knife. Stay here. Don't you damn move. The next two. What's the plan? Let's get close to these two. Make no mistakes here. That's what the knife's for. When we're there, we move at the same time. What the, the hell devil? is this? 